What up, YouTube? It's Aaron here, aka Harshaw Aaron. No freaking cap, man. And I'm back. Yes, sir, boys. I'm back on y'all guys' screens with another video. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Big, big 750. But no cap, gents. I'm disappointed, bro. I'm not gonna lie, gents. Dog, I just shot this video. This exact video, I shot the story time right now. And I found out that the audio wasn't, wasn't, wasn't recording this whole time, bro. I was recording on my, on my trap phone right here, bro. I was recording on this phone right here, and it wasn't, it wasn't recording, bro. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? It's crazy, bro. So now I have to run it back, bro, to like 30 minutes, bro. I wasted 30 minutes this whole time, bro. But shit, though. Hey, man. Anyways, boys, how are your boys doing, man? How are your boys doing? Cool, bro. Hopefully, y'all guys are doing good. I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't even want to waste time with the story time, bro. You know what's the deal, gents. You saw the title. You saw the story time. We don't clickbait things. I'm being for real. Anyways, boys, let's head straight into introductions of this video, man. Scroll down below if your boys ain't subscribed to the channel, man. Scroll down below, gents. Join the Hard Shot Nation today. Join the Hard Shot Nation today. Like the freaking video while you're at it, my boy. And comment down below your favorite part. During the video, off the video, it don't matter, my guy. As long as you comment, boys. Anyways, boys, anyways. Let's head straight into this video. Cool, bro. I remember what I said before. Okay, so let's start with 2020, bro. So we'll start in 2020, bro. 2020, you know, guys. If you guys are new, bro, you know 2020 wasn't a good year for me, bro. I financially, dog. Academically, bro. Romantically. No bitches. Nothing. Play at zero. Anyways, bro. So cool, 2020, lame year. So I tried to change it around, dog. In December, bro, I was like, hey, man, you know, I'm, I started a clean slate for the next year type shit, dog. I'm gonna be grade 11, you know, cooling, I'm chilling. Let me be, let me, you know, be in a good spirit type shit. So, bro, now it's be starting to hit the, the holidays type shit. One of the niggas that I used to chill with, he was in a lower grade, but then I've been boys with him since he was in grade 8, bro. He was like, we're tired as hell, bro. We even became more close when it hit the the lockdown or the COVID time. Because during COVID time, what they used to do at school is that they used to divide us between two groups. So there used to be a group one, which would go from 7 to eight, to 11. And then there used to be a group two that used to go from 11 to 3 o'clock. Hey, man, usually 3 o'clock sessions used to be tiring as hell, bro. But anyways, man, uh, cool, bro. Started becoming closer, 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 closer. And then eventually it was like, hey, man, I, I have some other vibe with these other hands that my boys know. He was like, hey, man, pull up, Aaron. Like, I want you to pull up type shit. After I'm like, all right, cool, man. No flop, bro. I, I you don't even gotta tell me twice, bro. I'm definitely pulling up. So then cool. I wait. Now I'm like, hey man, let me get a proper fit for these for the occasion, bro. Let me start to, you know, organize my fits and everything like that. So then now, cool. He tells me the date, the time that I should be at the place and everything like that. So then what we did is that we were linked up at his place before we go to that place. Because like, bro, let me not lie, then if we had to link up at my place, the, the function is not happening. Me, I'm not leaving the house, bro. It's not happening, bro. Because they're gonna put me in the hot seat, bro. They were gonna interrogate me. Yo, bro, when I was young, interrogate me. Ask me, where am I going? What time am I coming back? Who am I going with? Parents numbers and shit. Weird as hell, bro. So, I wear cool. The day comes. I dress up, dress up, dress up. I go by his side. I wear cool. When I get to his side, I'm waiting for him outside there at the gates. After he pulls up, I'm like, yo, bro, pull up outside. He pulls up. And after he's like, now, nah, he's waiting for one of his gents. The guy that was that. Knows this hunt it was supposed to go to. Oh, well, cool. Now that guy comes out, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. My boy, like, in terms of like planning, bro, he's last on the list, bro. He's last on the list because he can, he can, he can find the vibes, man. But for us to, like, the plan for us to get back home, the plan for us to have food, the plan for us to get to the place, it's always sketchy, bro. It's always something sketchy. And his boy was worse, bro. So then now I greet his boy. I'm like, oh, well, boy, cool. How are you? <coughs> <coughs> I'm like, yeah, boy, how are you? Is everything cool? Is whatever, whatever. My name's Aaron, whatever, whatever. We're greeting each other. We, we're being like, you know, bro, casual with it, though. So then, now we like our agent. Let's take our money and let's go and Uber to, to, to the place. So the place is in Santa, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The, the boat was probably like 250 You know, some light. If you planned it properly, that's, that's some light, bro. Like, shit that cost easily amongst three niggas. Easily, easily. So... I wait, I'm like, hey, bro, take out the money. Let's just start to plan. Hey, bro, niggas, niggas take out money, bro. And then the money's looking short, bro. Niggas are only take out 20 rands. I'm like, chief, you telling me I brought all of this money, dog? And you niggas brought only 20 rand, 50 rand, 70 rand? Come on, bro. 
Come on, bro. So what was the plan for us to go? After he's like, ah, bro, I mean, we can shout tags. I'm like, James. So you guys move like, like dog. Dog. Why, bro? Like, so, so you didn't think that that was necessary for you to tell me that, hey, bro, we're gonna be sharing taxi. Then we could have hustled something, boy. Because, hey, man, I mean, taxi is not no problem. It was a 20 rand taxi, but like, ah, bro, why do we always have to struggle, bro? When it's time to have a nice time, bro? Why do you have to struggle before you have a nice time? Don't you wanna just have a nice time, bro? If you don't have that nice time, just stay at home, bro. If you have no money, stay at home. Simple, gents. We don't like broke niggas outside, bro. We don't want to hear stories of, hey, bro, I'm, I'm getting an e-wallet from this guy. I'm getting an e-wallet from my parents. Stay at home, bro. Stay at home. We don't want to hear stories like that, bro. So anyways, I went cool. We're like, all right, cool, dog. It's time for us to go. Hey, bro, before we go, this guy stops by those niggas selling those chappies and whatever. And then he buys a cigarette, dog. One of my boys. I'm like, hey, bro, chief. Yeah, buying cigarettes, but then you you wanna you wanna say, hey, there's no money for this. Th Come on, bro. The reason why there's no money is because you're buying the cigarettes. Bro. This is why there's no money, bro. So I'm like, All right, cool, dog. We hop in the taxi. I oh, went cool. Twenty rand. Back to a place. We get to a place. We at Sensen City now. I oh, went cool. Now we at Sensen City, and then now these guys, I'm like, yo, Jen, try to hit up these girls and find where they are, dog. So then now we're at the Popeyes. I don't know if you guys know, but we're at the Popeyes of Sensen City, like downstairs. Cool. We're at the Popeyes downstairs. So my boy's friend, my boy's friend calls the girls, he's like, yo, bro, we're at the Popeyes downstairs. Cool, cool, cool. They were upstairs by the rooftop. They sent one of the girls to come downstairs to come and fetch us so that we can go up. I oh, went cool. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Hey, bro, I'm Look around, I'm not gonna lie, bro. There were some nah, females, though. There were some nice minors, though. Not minors as in, like, right now, I would hit, dog. I'm not on that tip. I'm not on no RKD things. I'm not on those RKD things. So then back then, I was like, hey, man, this is some nah, ass girls out here, bro. Girls that can easily give you humbly and experience, dog. It's just like that, bro. Then I see some random ass girl walk up to my boy's friend. Okay, this girl, this might be the girl. The girl introduces herself. She's like, hi, my name is, um, Avery, let me give you the name of Avery, yeah. It's like, hi, my name is Avery. After I'm like, hey, cool. My name is Aaron, cool, cool. I'm not gonna lie, James. Avery was a mid-range shot, dog. I'm not gonna lie. I, it might have been the COVID. It might have been the COVID that it took away my taste in women, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like I ever had a taste, bro. I had to be grateful for what I get, though, because I wasn't talking to shit, though. So me, I was supposed to be the last nigga to talk, bro. I was supposed to take everything I get. Each and every hand that comes my way, I'm supposed to take it, though. Cool, bro. It's every hand. I meet a cool. Of course, now I'm going to try to. I'm like, all right, cool, dog. I wait. You, I see you. But let me see your friends before I dictate which one I'm going to go for. All right, cool. We get up there. We meet a friend. There was three of them. One of them was not also. And now that I look back at it, she was better than Avery by far. And then there was another two. One of them, uh, one of them out of the two, she was trying. And then the other one was like, forget, bro. This one, this one is like... Z League, bro. Like, no, bro. Can't do that things, bro. So then I'm like, all right, cool. Now I know I have an idea of who I'm gonna go for. So now, cool, they're like, hey, bro, wanna smoke? Wanna smoke? Cool, cool, cool. They go there to the corner to smoke the devil's lettuce. They're rolling up, rolling up, rolling up. I wait, cool. Hey, bro, the, the day starts getting old. Not the night is getting old, though. The day starts getting old because I'm a young and bro. I'm supposed to be back at home by seven. By seven. It mustn't be too dark when I come back home. So then I'm like, alright, cool, bro. Let me start to, you know, make some make some moves, bro. I can't just like, you know, go away empty handed, bro. So then I start saying, alright, cool, bro. Let me start to chat up this girl, Avery. I walk up to her, I start introducing myself, I'm like saying, Yeah, 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 woo woo. We start talking about the little things, cool. She's telling me, Oh, you're so tall, is that? I'm like, Baby, I'm only like five eleven at this time, bro. Like, they're saying you're so tall. <laughs> GG's, nigga. Anyways, bruh. Telling me that I'm so tall. I'm like, hey, if you want to be taking super X, hey, just ask, bro. Just say that, bro. So she's telling me, she's telling me, cool, cool, cool. And then eventually she stopped paying, like, we just stopped talking. She started doing whatever she was doing. I think she was talking to my boy's friend. And I'm not gonna lie, James. Like, her friend was looking cool and I had to test the option. Because keep in mind, bro, I wasn't fully, I didn't shoot my shot fully with this girl, Avery, though. I was just like, you know, tippy toeing, just like, you know. Just seeing how things are. So I see a friend. I'm like, hey, man, you you also looking nice, dog. Let me deal with you, too. So I approach her. I tell her, yo, man, what's your name? Cool, 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 whatever. After I tell her, yo, she had natural dreadlocks, like 
proper nah, dreadlocks. So then I was like, yeah, man, I really like your, your natural dreadlocks. You know, cool, cool, cool. It's very nice to see, you know, natural look type shit. She's like, ah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Cool. She's blushing, James. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She could, like, yo, bro, she was, she was fiending for me, bro. Fiending, James. So then, yeah, I'm like, all right, cool, man. Uh, this is, this is live, bro. Let me just go back to Avery and struggle there, dog. Let me go with the challenge there. Go back to Avery. And after I'm talking to her, talking to her. Eventually, I'm talking to her. And then I break the, the touch barrier, dog. I wait, cool. Break the touch barrier. Now, I'm touching her some more, you know. I'm holding her like this some more. Cool, cool, cool. And then, there was this one time, man. I hold her like that. She's right shit, dog. And then she was talking, talking, talking. And then she stopped talking. And then, hey, man, hey, man, I... I had no game, bro. Shit, dog. So then I said some other shit on the lines of like, hey, bro, I'm trying to pull you. And they started giggling and shit. I tried to pull her. She moved away. It can't be mad. Yo. Moved away, bro. Dodged my shit. Damn, bro. Fuck. That's an L, bro. Anyways, so she dodged my shit. Me not knowing how to read hands, dog. I thought that she was playing hard to get, but she just didn't fuck with me, bro. I wasn't him, bro. I didn't want to swallow that pill, bro. Anyways, so she dodged me, and after I'm like, oh, why you keep on playing? Why you keep on playing? She's not playing, dog. She just doesn't want you, dog. Straight up. She's not playing, bro. She just doesn't want you, dog. Also for you out there, dog. If you're in the current situation, bro, She's not playing, she just doesn't want you, bro. Girls are smart, bro. They have brains. Women are probably smarter than men, dog. They do not do things by mistake, bro. By mistake, bro. They don't be disloyal by mistake, bro. It's intentional, bro. Anyways, bro. So, um, cool. She does that, man. I'm like, ah, son, this is just tripping. So then now, it's getting late. And then now, it's time for us to buy back to the crib though so these hands are supposed to go to some other party woo, woo, woo. and then and then after they were like all right cool guys we we're supposed to some go some other party so we'll just make sure y'all guys go home and then we'll go to the party so now we're waiting by the elevator side waiting rooftop elevator side hey bro so my first encounter with hypergamy dog first encounter ever if you don't know what hypergamy is women choosing gents based off of status like cloud you know money things like that it's usually common with cloud bro I'm sure y'all guys have has have came across that probably it's high likely if you go out and party it's probably highly likely that you came across that where they chose the nigga with 10k followers on ig bro over you bro or they look at the nigga with 10k followers on ig over you type shit which is it doesn't it's not a problem bro like it's not a problem bro it's just it's how the game is bro you can't bitch bro you can only get better honestly don't bitch get better type shit so then me we're chilling by the, by the elevator though cool they talking 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 the girls and then they start to whisper they start to whisper and look to a specific direction me i'm like what did it look at? Keep in mind, bro, I knew this nigga, man, but I didn't notice that it was him. But that nigga short, bro. So they like, ah, oh, it's this guy, it's this guy, it's this guy. And then one of the, and then that Avery girl said to the girl with the dreadlocks that, ah, that's your crush. You know, it's very disrespectful, bro. I'm not gonna lie, just, it really is like very disrespectful when like yo the girls that you pull up with get excited for another nigga it's 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 very disrespectful if you think about it bro it's extremely disrespectful like they're violating bro like and i can't be the only one that thinks that they're violating bro they are violating bro. so this is happening there me i'm like i cannot believe my eyes i cannot believe my eyes Can't believe it, bro. So, this is all happening. They go to him, approach him away. Cool, cool, cool. Long story short, he told her, hey, follow me on IG. I'll follow you back. She followed him on IG. He didn't follow back. Cool, cool, cool. Got back. Our way. You know, after that encounter, a nigga with self-respect would drop those girls immediately. But you know, bro, me, I didn't have self-respect, bro. I didn't have self-respect. I didn't drop that girl. It only made her, only made me fuck with her some more, bro. So cool. I get Avery's number, though. Now it's time to go home my way. Now it's time to go home. The Uber, we're in the Uber. Now we're busy saying, hey, James, take out money, dog. We, we're gonna pay for this Uber. Niggas are coming with the fucking stories again, bro. Busy telling me, hey, e-wallet, my mom, my mom is gonna send e-wallet, hey, hey, hey. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop using that e-wallet excuse, bro. You have no motion, dog. You have no motion, bro. Stop telling us about e-wallets. Stop using that excuse, bro. So he tells me that bullshit excuse me. I'm like, 
care, bro. That's nigga, dog. Anyways, dog. So I went cool. Get back home. I, I sacrificed my cash. I'm like, all right, bro, just take it, dog. Take it, dog. Like, as long as I go back home and text my queen. So I get back home, bro. I think it was that same night or the night after. Let me just say the night after to be safe. So the night after, uh, I hit her up. After I'm like, yo, uh, I'm trying to call you. The midnight type shit. So demon time type shit. We hop on a call, four hour call, bro. I think that was the 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 solidation that I was a full-time simp, though. Not gonna lie to you, bro. Four hour call with the girl that was violating, though. Four hour call, busy, you know, telling her. Crazy ass shit, dog. Crazy ass shit over the phone. And then after that, that cold, bro. I'm like, I right, cool, bro. I got this girl in the bag, bro. Like, it's chai, bro. Like, I have her wrapped, wrapped around my finger. It's over. So I thought, bro. And then next day, I hit up. She's mising. Hey, what did I expect, bro? She's taking two hours, three hours to reply. Me, I'm, I'm answering back in 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Lightning speed, bro lightning speed i'm answering bro. no respect whatsoever so i'm answering the, the things man cool 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 and then now i'm starting to get, get like see that the chats are getting despairful like she's getting more and more despairful more and more harsh and i forgot to tell you boys gents when i was holding her back day uh at Santa city she eventually told me hey, i have a boyfriend All of a sudden you have a nigga. What would your nigga say if she saw if he saw another nigga holding you like this? Makes zero sense. So I confirmed with the other gents. And the gents said, yeah, dog, she does have a nigga. And I found out even on IG that she does have a nigga. She was tagging the nigga, everything like that. The nigga was tagging her, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm like, hey man, that was when I was like, relationships that they post that are posted on the internet are not real, bro. Relationships that are posted on the internet are not real because come on, bro. Half of the time when the couple's posting themselves, bro, they're going through hard times, bro. That's the truth, bro. If a couple's posting themselves, all of a sudden just know they're about to break up. It's almost the end of the relationship, bro. It's almost the end, bro. But anyways, so now I start to realize it's getting more like disrespectful. And then she even disrespect me on a live, bro, one time, bro. On a live, bro. I was busy commenting there, trying to act slick, bro. She was like, hey, bro, chill out, dog. This that there, there, my boyfriend is here. Whoa, whoa. I'm like, hey, yo, bro. Made me look stupid, bro. IG handle there, everything. So, I'm like, I, she's probably playing hard to get. Me, I keep pressing, bro. And yo, Jets, when I tell you I was pressing, Jets, I was pressing like it was the third quarter, bro. Third quarter, bro. Third quarter, one minute left, bro. We're 30 points down, bro. We got to at least get it down to 20 before the fourth quarter type shit. Hey, bro, let me just let me just show you all guys. Let me just read out some, <laughs> some text of mine, bro. Let me just read out some text real quick, bro. Okay, bro. Here's the first page of the text. So, I remember this exact story, dog. So, she posted a story of her room and the wall saying, Oh, what you guys think I should put next on my wall? And I said to her, a picture of me. It's can't be, mad. It's can't be. Is that Riz, Jens? Like, be honest. No, nigga! It's not Riz, man. It's not Riz, man. Embarrassing, man. Thing. Embarrassing. She replied, bro. Crying face emoji, crying face emoji, palm emoji. You, 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 you. Tough. Tough. Last place. Endangerment of relegation. And then I replied to her story one time. I was like, I miss talking to you. What happened to us? Nigga, they were never us, bro. You are delusional. And then she replies to me, yeah, 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 chill with that. Damn. Crying face emoji. Shambolic, bro. The goal difference is getting worse and worse. We're almost relegated, bro. I triple text her saying, I am serious. You always think I'm playing, but it's cool. Soon you will realize that I'm the man for you. But at least now it can't get much worse. But it did get worse. Man, I sound like one of the niggas in request, bro. Shit, bro. The hell, bro? She follows you, bro. Why are you acting like a request nigga, dog? And then she says, nigga, calm down. <laughs> nigga, calm down. Weren't you not sliding with my friend? And I still have a boyfriend. And I'm not gonna lie, James, I was talking to a friend. I was talking to a friend because she was curving me. So I was like, fuck it, bro. Let me talk to a friend. And a friend was fucking with me, bro. I don't know why I didn't pursue that, bro. 
I didn't have self-respect. That's why I say, bro. Like, that friend was fucking with me, dog. Like, she, she really liked me, bro. Don't know why. So then I'm like, whoa, we ain't that serious. And we made that clear with each other. That's 110% cap. We were very serious. We were calling every night, dog. So I can confirm that I was lying in that situation. And how do you know that? Scarlet emoji. She's like, I know everything. Devil emoji. And this text right here puts it all. Puts it all. Puts it all in the casket, bro. Good night, friend. Slow hey, snowflake emoji. And I pull the biggest simp move of 2021. And it's only been January. I said, good night, bestie. What the fuck are you saying, Aaron, bro? What the hell are you saying, bro? Oh, man. Niggas are wild, bro. What the fuck are you saying, Aaron? It's not over, Jens. It's not over. <clears throat> Final two texts, though. She posted a picture of me and her, but she put an emoji over my face, and it just showed her right there. And I was holding her right here. She was in my arms right there. That was that day we met. And then I replied to the story saying, yo, who's that sexy tall nigga on the left? Question mark. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, this is the most humble, humbling experience can get. She replies to me, crying face emoji, palm emoji. It can't be, man. It can't be. Ah, boy, relegated. You don't even get relegated to the league below, bro. You just can't play football anymore. Deregister the club, bro. Honestly, bro. Last place out of the league. Last place, bro. So then, this wasn't the end of it, bro. I still didn't have self-respect. So I think days later, weeks later, I hit her up. I'm like, yo, bro, let's chop it up, dog. Let's hop on a call. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I tell her, yo, midnight, I'm trying to call you type shit. So then she's like, all right, cool, 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 no problem. Midnight comes, my Riz voice has activated, bro. You know, midnight, you know, the Riz voice is activated automatically. You know, I put a debit order for that shit. Cool. I'm getting ready. I, I'm ring up now. Hey, Jeep, it's going on, bro. It's going on for long, Baba. It's ringing for long. Two Dragon Ball Z episodes is ringing, bro. I'm like, I, it's chat. Me, I'm like, I. After that day, I was like, nah, boy, it's chat. Like, I have to start respecting myself. This hand clearly doesn't fuck with me, bro. Cool. Me, I start forgetting about this hand. Next morning, wake up. She hits you with the iconic reply. What did she hit me with, gents? Oh, I'm sorry, I dozed off. Nigga, I've heard that a million times, bro. Do not tell me, hey, 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 I dozed off, I dozed off, I dozed off. Don't tell me that shit, bro. She hits me with that line. Me, I hit her with, nah, bro, I'm, I'm tired of this shit, though, like, uh. I'm trying to fuck with you, and then you can't not show me. You know, there's nothing that I'm gaining from this. So I told her, hey, man, I'm going to leave you alone, and I'm no more going to bother you. Simple, bro. She tells me, oh, no, no, no. You're not bothering me. This, that, that, that. So I already dozed off. I was like, man, fuck you, man. Fuck you, fuck you. They didn't talk to us since that date. Since that date, bro. Hey, man, I don't know why. I was, I was, I was, I was settling for less there, though. Don't gonna lie, bro. But her friend was a side character in the story, and she did play a big role later on, bro. I'm not gonna lie, James. So, bruh, the story with me and her friend, dog, hey, hey, goes like this, boys. In your honor, I'm sorry, this can't be, sorry, man. sorry, this can't sorry, be. sorry.